Hey guys, and welcome to another video. My name is Magnus. Today, we will be checking out attacks from Valor Magulis' fourth week of the NDL Open Superfly Division against DM. If you're unfamiliar with this division, it only allows you to war in a level 1 clan with troops no greater than your town hall can provide. However, there are no limitations to what you can bring from your laboratory. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel as we work to bring you highlights from different levels of play. Also, make sure to follow Valor Magulis on the socials, links will be down below. Let's get into these attacks. In our first one, we've got My Deep coming in with a Zap Drag attack. Dropping Zaps on the air defenses on the left side of the base. We're now focusing on the air defenses that are now focused at the top right. Barbarian King down on the Town Hall. Wizard to work on funneling the King inside. We've got a couple Giants to also tank for the Archer Queen. BK ability is going to be burned here, taking care of the town hall. He's going to wrap through collecting the wizard tower. Queen's going to take care of the air defense, leaving us one AD left on this attack. Queen ability is going to be burned here as well. She's going to come through, take care of the right side trash, the archer tower, and a cannon. We've got the clan gas coming out on our dragons, coming through the top. Catches the Witch and Dragon with a Poison. We're also going to put down a heal so that these dragons don't lose health. Coming through two Infernal Tower streams, an Archer Queen, and an X-Bow. We got our first Infernal Tower down. Dragons on the left side will wrap around, taking care of some of the cleanup on that section. Other Inferno, now, Inferno Tower now going down. These dragons will take care of the Archer Tower, the Wizard Tower. The last Expo has gone down. So looking at this attack, we've got two Wizard Towers left, an Archer Tower, and two Teslas. Group of dragons on the left makes short work of the last Wizard Tower. Group on the right are working through the last two Teslas and the DE storage. We've taken care of the last Archer Tower. Tesla's going to take care of the right side Dragon, but no worries here as these Dragons catch a ton of air traps. They'll take care of the Tesla, the final three structures, and lock up the first three star. In our next one, we've got Benny coming in with Queen Walk Miners. Queen's up at the top side. We're working on sending her down towards 3 o'clock. Also, some archers down on the corners taking care of the collector so we don't have any time fails here. Queen stepping up within the alley by the two archer towers. Walking into a rage, we're going to take care of the first archer tower. King also down at 9 o'clock. He's going to work on cleaning the left section. Queen's taking care of those two wizard tower, taking care of those two archer towers, the bomb tower, and an air defense. Miner's now coming in from the top left. We've got the clan caster coming out on the queen. Poison and freeze being used, as well as a rage. BK ability being used will keep these miners nice and tight within the base. Heal being used over the Inferno Tower. They're kind of pathing everywhere, doubling back to catch that. Another heal being used on the bottom compartment by the Bomb Tower. Queen stepped within range of the single Inferno, so she will be going down here once. No, does use the ability. Couple loons down, catch the motor. Final heal being used over the cannon. These miners stay at full health. Expo, uh, Wizard Tower goes down to the loons. Everything is going to wrap around, taking care of the final three structures once again for a three star. In our last one, we've got Raj coming in with a Zap Drag attack. Sending in a couple minions early, working on some 
some free funneling and to ensure we don't have any issues with time. Now the BK is coming down at three o'clock. He's working its way in towards the motor and the Tesla. We've got the queen down at six o'clock. She's locking onto the air defense, sent in a ton of wall breakers. So we zapped a air defense. We've sniped an air defense with the queen. Ability has been used here. Beacon ability being used will also keep the top side nice and clean. We've got a Hound Loon coming out of the clan castle with some dragons supporting the back side. Hound is popped, being very patient using any spells here. Dragon comes out of the clan castle, so that will be poisoned. We've got a heal down over the Inferno Tower, keeping these dragons at full health as they go into a Expo and a Wizard Tower. Going to drop a Rage, pushing them through. They devour the Wizard Tower, the Bomb Tower, moving up towards the Expo. We've got another small group of dragons taking care of the Clan Castle in the core, as well as the remaining Expo and Wizard Tower. Dragons do have a split here. They are now looking to avoid this multi Inferno Tower. We're going to put down a giant to tank the Tesla, buying us a little bit more time. Sentinel Loons looking to get a snipe on the multi. Unfortunately, we're beginning to run low on dragons. Dragons do actually take care of the multi. Stepping up, we're going to take care of the Archer Tower. Moving in, we'll now clean up the Wizard Tower, the Gold Storage, and the Collectors to wrap up the last three star. With the Thai War, it came down 2%, which wasn't favoring Valmagulas this week. Valmagulas will be working hard to make their last two wars go their way to get a spot in the playoffs. Thank you for spending a few minutes of your day with us here. If you haven't already, please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it. The Twitter for Valor Magulas is down in the description below. Definitely be sure to follow them. And while you're at it, why not follow me as well? On to the next one. Take care, guys.